Hi, my name is Fela Drotoy and I want to share something that is incredibly dear to my heart, something I'm incredibly passionate about. We're trying to raise one million volunteers who will do everything that they can to help the children that are taking the WAEC and the JAMB exams pass. By 2006, 87% of the children that sat for NECO exams and WAEC exams failed. By 2007, it had grown to 89%. Well, the last results that just came out, for the first time in Nigeria, 98% of the children failed maths and English. 98%. Of every 100 children that sat for the exams, that had dreams of becoming something, only two of them passed. This is a nation that the official language is in English. It's not Pidgin English. And 98% of our children could not pass that language. How can we build managers of the future if the future cannot read and write? You've got dreams of companies that you want to own, those great multinational businesses. Well, tell me, where are you going to get your staff from if 98 out of every 100 children that you will need to hire cannot pass? Don't you understand? Where are you going to get your customers from when the average age of the people or the average income of the people that would, be, that would need to be your customers would probably be between 0 and 25,000 Naira? Why did I say so? Well, do you think about it? The more you learn, the more you earn. So if these guys can't learn, then they can't earn. So that means that you will produce the product, but nobody will be there to buy it. You may have your beautiful cars, but where are you going to drive it? Because when you drive it on the road, the guys who are going to be out there on the road are the people who may not be able to bear, beg or borrow. So maybe they would have to steal. You might be able to take your own children out of this country and say, well, I don't care about Nigeria's educational system. But one day your children will have to come back home because they can never be anything more than second class citizens where they are. In January 2010, we adopted Lagos District 4, District 4 um, and, and basically just took on a few students that said, if you can make up your mind to, to, to pass and read and study and pass these exams, we will support you with everything. Most of those students said, well, one of the most important things to pass maths exam is we need math set and we need four-figure tables. These are the, the tools for calculation. Cut the long story short. I put it out there, and people just like you, leaders just like you, started to put in and chip in. They are 500 naira, 1,000 naira. And then Oando and First Bank decided each to buy 1,000 math set and 1,000 four-figure tables. And you can see, I just announced to, the, to these children, and you can see just how happy they are. Uh, you can imagine what you can do putting smiles on these people's faces. This is why I'm asking you to find your own part in reviving academic excellence in our schools and educational institutions. You can become a volunteer teacher. You can also become a, a mentor to some of these children. You can say, well, I'm going to make myself available maybe one hour a week. You can be a sponsor which means that you can say to yourself, I want to buy a child a math set, a, a four-figure table. I want to buy a child. Uh, um. You can even say, listen, you know what? I may not have the money, but my organization has the money, and I have influence with my organization, so I will put in a good word with my organization, and let's see how we can partner with Project Raise and let us together raise the standard and revive academic excellence. Are you sure you believe what you just said? Yes. Again, I'm going to... These are the future and they are in your hands. You must deliver the future. You can deliver the future. And I believe you will deliver the future. God bless you and God bless Nigeria. My name is Eloko Bukola. I'm 14 years old. I'm a student of Eric Moore Senior High School. I'm an art student. I intend studying sociology at the University of Lagos. I'm in SS3. Now I am about to write my WAEC. My objective is to make my WAEC in this school. At least I should have five credits. 
I'm sure I can pass some paper, but not very sure of some mathemat like mathematics and accounts. Um, I, need, I think I need math, math teachers. I need to start learning math from right from the beginning because I don't understand them a lot. And like for that geography, I wasn't taught geography right from my session. So I'm not sure of geography. I, I need serious teaching that that will make me understand it, mm. and I'm sure I will pass it. I. I need help in further maths mainly. I know that English I can do well in English, in mathematics I can do well. But further maths, we don't have to join our school. So we need your help in that one. My foundation in maths is not solid. I don't know the I don't really know maths when I was in primary school and we didn't have good teachers then. Even presently uh, my teachers and principals are trying but I don't just get maths. I find it difficult to understand mathematics. It's hard to understand. I'm SS3 Science Department and I would like to study study computer engineering in the University of Lagos. I want to be a medical doctor when I grow up. I want to study mechanical engineering. My dream is to become an accountant. <laughs> I would like to be a computer engineer because I love everything about computer. My dream is to become a professional actor. I want to become a lawyer. I would like to become a professional accountant in future. To be able to uh, build a computer, to discover many things when it comes to computing.